this, let's bring in Dr. Mark Siegel. Dr. Siegel, good to see you. This, this, there's a lot of scary things, quite frankly, that are happening here. First of all, you've got the emergency rooms in this country filling up with these young patients. What is happening here? Well, Sandra, it's ver the very old and the very young. I want to start by saying that we're seeing seven per 100,000 elderly that have been hospitalized this season for an upper respiratory or respiratory infection, which is 10 times what we saw last year. But you know what's even worse than that? Under 17 years of age, children, 50 out of 100,000 is the statistic, way more than 10 times what we usually see. What are we seeing? We're seeing an enormous flood of hospitals from a combination of RSV infections, which is an upper respiratory infection. The smaller you are, the smaller your airways, the easier they get clogged. Flu is raging back this year, as we predicted it would. It, you know, as Jillian just said, we don't have a lot of immunity to flu from last season, where we had very small, small outbreak. And young children are getting the flu this year, and, so, and some have died. And then COVID is also coming back. 80,000 cases reported over the last 24 hours. Deaths are way down from COVID, thank God, because there's a lot of immunity around to COVID now, but we're still seeing hospitalizations from COVID, and yeah. that's the triple threat. We sort of have a scroll here of all the um, infections, bacterial infections, respiratory infections that are affecting patients. Uh, there's a lot of cases of asthma being reported, allergies, ulcers is on the list, epilepsy and seizures, diabetes, uh, chronic pain, anxiety. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why. Uh, uh, these ERs and hospitals are filling up with a lot of patients, to your point, both young and old. But as a result, uh, in particular, as from some of these infections, uh, amoxicillin is running short. And Dr. Siegel, we've been covering this this week. How is it possible that in America we're running out of a medicine like amoxicillin that is so badly needed? I have a few points on that that haven't been made. First of all, it's the powdered form that's r short. And that's for people that can't take a pill or for little kids who can't take a pill. We need the liquid. You take the powder, you make the liquid. The reason that's short is because it's the supply chain relies on China. The ingredients are coming from China. Over 90 percent of the basic ingredients come from China. We're having supply chain shortages across the board of all drugs from China because of the shutdowns. That's one of the reasons. And we need to make it more domestically. The second point I want to make is Pediatricians out there, caution, you're over-prescribing this stuff, and you always have. So if little kids get RSV or they get flu or they get COVID, we don't want them on amoxicillin. We want to reserve amoxicillin for other infections, like you said, for earaches, for sinus infections, for true strep throats. So get the kids tested before you throw them on an antibiotic because of the shortage. The shortage is real, but we doctors tend to make it worse by prescribing antibiotics for viruses. I suppose it's a conversation for another day why we are choosing to be that reliant on China for such a crucial, uh, important medicine uh, for so many in this country. Dr. Siegel, I want to end with this. This is a Utah mother uh, talking about the lengthy recovery for her son with RSV, uh, RSV. So many are dealing with this right now. Here she is. He was a perfectly healthy little boy. This was the first time he really ever got sick. We were told pretty much do not take him out for about three months after because he's just that much more susceptible of catching anything. So um, can you add to that for anybody listening, a grandparent, a parent who might be having a child dealing with this respiratory illness? Uh, she was told not to take her otherwise perfectly healthy boy out for three months after recovering from this because he is that much more susceptible to catching something. What is your message on this, Dr. Siegel? I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.